Now, let's take a look at the iPhone's name. Your iPhone does in fact have a name which shows up at a bunch of different places. It's visible when connecting to other Bluetooth devices or inside the Find My application. If you enable the personal hotspot feature on your iPhone to share its internet connection with other devices, the name of your iPhone might be visible to those devices. Also, when using AirDrop to share files or content with other Apple devices, your iPhone's name is displayed as an option for other users to select. So let's get started with it right now. The first method on how you can change your device's name is really simple. All you have to do is to go to the settings and then scroll just a little bit towards the bottom. You'll be able to see the general section in here, so go ahead and click on it. Then, just tap on the very button saying About. And again, the very first thing at the top of the list is your name. So tapping on it will allow you to change it. It can literally be anything you want, but of course there is um, a limit on the amount of characters you can use. Emojis are fine as well. Keep in mind that this is the important name which determines how your device is presented to others. And this is the name that will change your iPhone's personal hotspot as well as AirDrop name. But there is also another way to change your name. But this second way of doing it is a little deeper and works as a general name for your entire Apple account. So in the settings, you need to come back to the main section, the basic one that, that shows up first when you open the settings. And at the top of the list, you can see your name there. And this name doesn't really belong to your iPhone, but instead it is your own name that you use for your Apple ID. However, it can also be changed without a problem. Just tap on your name at the top, and the first button says name, phone, numbers, email. So get inside this section. Tap on your name once again, and you can change your first name, the optional middle name, as well as your last name. As you can see, it's no longer the name of your device, but yours. So only do this if it impacts you personally. This new name will be displayed across all of your other Apple devices. And it's not really something that many people change a lot. So keep that in mind. Also, if you use third-party services or devices that are connected to your iPhone, such as smart home systems or wearable devices, be aware that changing the name might require reconfiguring those services or devices. But that would be pretty much everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope that it helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button right under the video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching until the end, and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.